this is Mary from Mary's Stamping Happenings, and this is There's a Card Thursday. I hope you really enjoy this video and cards, and if you'd like to purchase any of the products seen, you can go to my website at marytroutner.stampinup.net and click on Shop Now. Hi, this is Mary from Mary's Stamping Happenings, and today is There's a Card Thursday, and I want to show you a really great card, a Christmas card, um, and I really love this. It's simple, easy, and um, and you do something with a, a stamp set that's a little bit different than what it's supposed to be. I call it Labels to Love a Christmas Card. And Labels to Love is mainly the set, well, it is the set we're going to be using. Um, and this is mainly a set that you have, where's my other one? This is a set that you use to make um, tags. And we're just going to pop out the Merry Christmas one, and we're going to be using that one. Okay, so what else you need beside Labels to Love is you're going to be um, using... Um, the bright Stampin' Right markers, Old Olive and Real Red, and then you're going to use an Old Olive um, stamp pad. Card stock, you're going to need um, Old Olive 8.5 by 5.5, a, a piece of Real Red um, 4 by 5 and a quarter, and then two pieces about 3 by 3 inches of Whisper White and Real Red. Accessories, we're going to use the foil snowflakes. We're going to use the back of them, though. Um, you're going to need the Everyday Label Punch. And, of course, where are they? Glue Dots and Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, you're going to need a sponge dauber, the Big Shot, and we're also going to be using the Holly um, embossing folder. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of five and a quarter by four inch real red and we're going to run that through the Big Shot just because we'll do it first. And you get this. I really like this. Let's bring down the camera just a little bit. Don't you like that? I love how that shows up. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our um, stamp and we're going to um, just color the stamp in, with real red and old olive. Um, and you can do it. I'm doing this the words and the sayings in um, real red and the rest in old olive, but you can do it either way you want. So I'm just highlighting what I want in real red. And then I'm going to do the rest in old olive. I really like this. So I tell people they should always get first off before they buy any stamping pads, get some markers and see which ones you like because then you can also use them for other things. Now this um, old olive and real red marker combination, um, you can get them um, in, as a duo in the holiday catalog if you want instead of having to buy. And I see I missed a little bit of the real red. Now what you want to do is you're going to huff on it and then you're just going to um, stamp it. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to cut, to punch this out using your everyday labels punch. The reason I use the three inch because you can just get that, if you center it like I didn't, you can just get that into the punch by holding both sides. Okay, and then you're just going to punch that out. And then you're going to take your three by th three and you're going to punch that out. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take um, some glue dots 
and you're going to glue these um, in perpendicular position just like this so and that's really all there is um, you can put a couple dimensionals on there now you're going to take your um, backside of your foil snowflake and you're going to take and you're going to get inky on this so take your sponge dauber fill it with um, old olive you know what's a really cool thing you could do this just put some um, a little bit of washi tape on it and do this on a piece of whisper white cardstock don't move it and I'll show you if I can on this you will have another piece you can use for another card I usually will put it down with a piece of washi tape or um, temporary adhesive we used to have that now we don't but I do that and then you'd have this So just remember, if you put it on a Whisper White, you'll have something like that, and you can use it as a, another ornament. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just attach this just like that. And then I'm going to put a couple more pieces of Stampin' Dimensionals on that. And then I'm going to attach that. To the middle of the real red. I'm going to fold over my just like that. Up. Take some glue dots, and attach that right like that. Yeah, and I got green all over that because I had to reattach that. So, let's get this a little bit. There's a card Thursday. Um, don't forget to um, subscribe to me on YouTube. And all the information is down below to order everything you'll need to make this great card. I'd appreciate it if you did order from me. Thanks a lot. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.